So question seven is from Graham, and uh, he asks as follows, can a recontribution strategy work where an SMSF has two adult members aged 70 and 68 respectively with current member balances of $1.7 million each and transfer balance caps of $1.6 million each? Okay, thank you, Graham. Um, all right, first of all, let's just have a look uh, around what the re-contribution strategy actually is, um, because for some of you, it may not be uh, all that clear. You may have heard about it, but you may not know what it actually is. So a re-contribution strategy is really a tax planning strategy and an estate planning strategy. The way it works is it involves you withdrawing a lump sum, withdrawing money from your super account, where you then pay any necessary tax on that withdrawal. And then you take that money and you re-contribute it back into your super fund as a tax-free non-concessional contribution. I'll explain that. So if you are making withdrawal from your super, remember if you're over age 60, that lump sum that you take out is tax-free. You don't actually pay tax on it. Um, but when you when you make that withdrawal, it comes from your from all of your tax components. It comes from your taxable component and your tax free component. Now, the fact that you're over 60 means you don't actually pay tax on it personally. But if you were to pass away any amount of your benefit that is classified as taxable component is actually taxed as high as 17% by your adult children. So to try and get rid of any tax payable by non-dependents, which is the main strategy we're looking at here, we take a lump sum out, we don't pay tax on it personally, we put it back in as non-concessional and therefore it forms part of our tax-free component. If those benefits are later paid to non-dependents, so your adult kids, they get all of that tax-free component tax-free. They don't pay tax on it. So really, it's a strategy to reduce tax payable by non-dependents and usually by our adult children. So that's the strategy. I hope that sort of makes sense, that explanation around the strategy. What we need to think about, though, and what we need to think about in particular to Graham's question, are the rules around then putting the money back in, the rules around making contributions. We know that if you're eligible to take the money out, we've covered that by way of going through the rules earlier in that webinar, but now what we're looking at is making the contribution back in, the re-contribution of those amounts. Now, if we look at the, um, if we look at the facts which have been given to us, if you are turning age 75, the recontributed amount must be received by your super fund no later than 28 days after the end of the month in which you turned 75. So I'm just giving you the age restriction here for making non-concessional contributions. There's no work tests. So remember we said before, 67 to 74 work tests is only for concessional contributions. We're looking at non-concessional contributions because it's part of the re-contribution strategy. So therefore, the relevant age is age 75. So we need to do this before turning 75. And in fact, it must be paid into your fund as a contribution no later than 28 days after you turn 75. It just gives you an extra 28 days to get the money back in. But you've also got a restriction around your total super balance. So in order to have a non-concessional contributions cap, so in order to be able to make a non-concessional contribution and not have excess, you have to have a total super balance of under $1.7 million in the current year. So you need to look at your balance at 30 during the private previous year and for the for the for the current year the limit's 1.7 million dollars if you have a total super balance above that which i believe you 
do, you would not be eligible to have a non-concessional um, cap. So anything you put back in, any non-concessional contribution you put in, would be deemed to be an excess contribution, and you essentially uh, would be you you wouldn't do that in this circumstance. So if you're unable to make a non-concessional contribution based on your age or if you're unable to use the non-concessional contributions cap because of your total sort of balance, then this is not a strategy uh, for you, okay? So it's not something um, that you would be able to entertain uh, because you're not allowed to then put that money back in. So again, um, two articles for you to have a look at, both from late last year, one is around the super contribution, so, sorry, the super recontribution strategy and how it works. And the other one is around how to understand your total super balance. Have a look at those two uh, if you need any more information on that.